Hello, my friends, and welcome back to a continued by Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete for PS1. My name is the Puttless Bearer. This is your Story Base Gaming Channel, and today we just met with Hell Mal after coming to Merbia. And oh, thank you, Lord. Luna is still in our party. Oh, man, that scared the heck out of me. That is for sure. I was so worried she was going to leave. And that would have been really, really bad. <laughs> I just had to say that. That would have been really, really bad. It, it does look like I need a rest because our MP is not restored on Alex. But before we do that, I want to get the rest of my party back, which means we got to go find Nash in the Mage's Word uh, to the left of the screen. So let's do it. I hope you all are having a wonderfully fantastic day today. Let's head to the other part of town that we haven't been just yet. Seems to be some more houses and stuff to explore here. The people of Black Rose Street had the audacity to call it a slice of Vane on Earth. But this place is nothing like Vane. It's just a small street in a sprawling metropolis. The real Vane is a home of our world's magic knowledge, not to mention both Galian and Lemia. Who is Lemia? I've not heard of her. I've heard of Galian. Many, uh, may Althena have mercy! That's the strangest pet I've ever seen! What kind of creature is it? Hey, it's Null. I'm not a pet, old man, and I don't like the way you say creature. May Althena strike me dead! I couldn't understand the language of the humans! <laughs> what if you talk to him again? Oh, hello. Uh, butt kicking water magic. <laughs> Your children would be doing a huge favor if you were to smell you, your amazing pet. Time to check the batteries in the hearing, old oh, man. I'm not anyone's pet. I, I like how they call water magic but kicking. I agree, I like water magic a lot. Although, I've always said this, explosion magic is probably my favorite. But besides explosion magic, I really love water. I really love air. I love thunder or lightning. Even though I don't like thunder lightning in real life. And we do have some really bad thunder lightning storms coming in the area. So I don't know if I'll be able to finish this episode. But we'll see how far we go. I like to describe Black Rose Street as a compact version of Vane's Magic Guild without the elitist attitude. Not to mention the altitude, hehe, <laughs> so I can help myself. It seems to just be an item shop, which I have no money to buy anything here. Uh, there is a second escape, or they are, they are selling uh, the escape things, but don't really need that. There's a new fortune teller shop on Black Rose Street. It's run by a magician from Vane. Her she's very good at appearing in the future, and that she's, hehe, <laughs> very hot. Alex, why don't we ask her about the dragons? Maybe she'll know something. Yeah. Let's see what you're up to, but no. Uh, what'd you say? You said something about. I noticed you sell starlights. But they're a thousand S, and I spent my thousand S on soap. <laughs> Remember that we have an exclusive on starlight you can't buy anywhere else outside of Maine. I would really like to buy a few of those. Not no lie, but what you gonna do? My un my insignificant sword is blessed a thousand times over by your wondrous presence. I have a selection of many fantastic and wonderful magic items for sale. First magic item is a magic toothbrush. Scrubs your teeth while you sleep and leaves them bright, not just white. I can tell you just want one. You need one. Ah, uh, can I get it, Alex? It sounds like it would be kind of fun. No, are you too lazy to clean your teeth now? No brush for you. <laughs> I knew she'd say no. It'll be your fault when I contract gingivitis, Luna. Jeez, you know about gingivitis back then? People here are very scientific. Oh my, are you lost, cat? You'll find a nice home at the bottom of my stomach. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I've heard that voice somewhere before. I remember now, it's the old hag from Caldo Aller who gave us a water cane. Oh, do you know my sister? Is she still living out in the middle of nowhere all by herself? Yeah, she stole my staff. I'm so upset by that. I wish she'd come uh, back to Black Rose Street to live with me again. But she said she loved the peace and cried of the woods. Bah. She's just too stubborn to admit she misses me. I'm still upset by that. Black Rose Street is a place where the people of the ground can interact with the magicians of the sky. It's a doorway through which a common man can glimpse the power of Vane. If you ever have a question related to magic, come here and you will find the answer. You need a form for the guild. You mean the magic guild? Uh, yes. Talk to the head priest at the shrine. Um, which shrine is that? Uh, the one for or, or she who made her world. Althena? You mean Althena's shrine? Hmm? 
Why does the leader of Athena try and have forms for the magic guild? Oh, I have to hear. I don't know. Boo! -hoo -hoo. This is absolutely horrible. This is the tragedy of all tragedies. I can't find my magic wig! <laughs> I refuse to sit outside this house until I once again have a natural looking hand of fake hair. <laughs> Most of the people who live on Black Rose Street learn to use magic in vain. Almost everyone you meet right here, I have a degree from the Magic Guild. Myself included. We are chosen to come here because our particular skills are suited to the world of the ground dwellers. So Vane must be a city in the sky, right? I specialize in using magic to predict upcoming weather conditions. Farmers and fishermen are especially interested in my forecast, uh, for obvious reasons. It's far beyond my abilities to actually change the weather, of course. Such power is probably only within the grasp of magicians like Lemia and Galleon. You want to go on an adventure like Dragon Master Dine and you don't have any magic skills? Don't make me laugh. Dine was using incredible magic when he was half your age. Alex can't use magic, but he can use a sword and play the ocarina. He's, he's practiced hard to master them, and I know he can master magic too. Yeah, I would love to master magic. Oh, we got another weapon shot. This is like our third one. Our most popular uh, item these days is a fire cane. Use it as a tool, use it as fireball magic. Uh, let's see, we have a long sword, which is not as good as what I'm using. A small bow, which is not as good as what I'm using. Uh, the fire cane. And that's it, I don't have money. If you have anything you purchase here, don't be shy about mentioning early and often on your travels. Yeah, hey, if you like what you, you, you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Welcome, Young Adventures. We saw armor for magicians. That's all, nothing else. Exactly. Uh, spread the message of your playlist bird. <laughs> what do we got here? Robe, uh, armlet, and a headband. This is all for her and um, Nash, probably. This is a big jump. This one's not so big. This one's big. I am like almost out of money and I have bought anything for my other characters. But at least these two characters are gonna be well equipped, right? Yeah, I mean at least they'll be uh good. Sorry to focus on chain spells when you're out of breath with the heavy armor you're wearing. Do, do, do. You boy, I can tell you're quite the skilled magician. You might have to do so for my appearance, but I've been using magic magic since I was a child. Alas, the only spell I could cast is the one to stop sneezing. I also have a powerful sense for the magical ability of others. But Alex can't use magic. <laughs> Do you have a spell I can make you stop hiccuping? I hate that when I get it. You have the dragon ring. Bark would only give that to the person who passed his trial. And that seems to be you. The ring is proof that you have the qualities of a dragon master. I heard that diamond ward as well. Personally, I thought the dragon diamond was a lot more impressive. Well, not everything is, you know, gold and glitter or whatever it's called. Yeah, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> and that's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key. But I have a strong suspicion that it is. Nash. Oh, look at her. She is cool looking. Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, did you take the dark before entering? Got a cool look. We seem to have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? She's cool. I don't know if I like her or not. She's kind of creepy too. She's cool. Uh, we really, we really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpse of your future child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I could answer. Ah. <sighs> And you, Alex, you seek to become the greatest hero of Earth has ever known. 
But you are too humble to be a dragon master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be undoing. Sounds like a uh, Percy. You know, Percy from Percy Jackson. Like every Greek hero has a fatal flaw, you know. So what's my fortune, lady? Looking your balls and coughing up hairballs, cot. It's an insult to think I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. Wow, I don't like her all of a sudden. How dare you insult Nal? I am not a cat. Yeah, I mean, don't insult Nal. Alex, Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? Having lived in the desolation of Caldo Aya, you two must be completely overwhelmed. I'm sure you'll adjust in time, and if you don't, I'll be that much more amused. Nash, what were you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure bad hair it is. Oh, burn! You rude little rodent. In fact, I asked her, well, it's none of your business anyway, is it? Oh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there's a woman in your future. Ha ha ha, Nash wants a girlfriend. Good luck, tiger. <laughs> It's none of your business what I asked her about. I'm entitled to just as so much privacy as you are. Now then, I have several more pressing matters discussed with the boys, so... By the way, where's your full French figured friend, Ramus? Was it going out to sell the Dragon Diamond? Perhaps you should find him. He's right, Alex. We should see if he's negotiated a good price yet. So that was the R.O. Remember there was an R.O. We need to go see R.O. That's Royce. This is her. Welcome, children. I am Royce. Is there a loved one you seek? A business matter for which you need advice? A question about an affair of the heart? Whatever your problem, I have the solution. Alex, I don't know why, but I feel weird and nervous. Yeah, she she gives off a weird vibe. I, I don't know about her. She is, um... She's got that look about her. And I don't know if that's a good thing. She's definitely got a great look, but the way she talks and interacts, it, it's almost as if uh, she's not on the entire up and up. Where is this pawn shop at? I, I don't remember exactly where it was. That's weapons. Okay, I'm gonna put a cut in the video and I'll be back once I find Remus. I found it! Uh, you don't understand. This is a dragon diamond fish limited for Quark's buddy Keister. He doesn't give these wedges to anyone, you know. Well, actually, it does like he does. How am I supposed to know this is a genuine dragon diamond? We've had a double of a time with dragon zirconium lately. It seems like we got a fool in here every day now claiming to have a genuine dragon diamond. But I will admit, this is the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. Is she trying to scam us? Hey, Alex, did you meet with Master Mel? I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might have to sell for a lot less than it's worth. I'm sorry. Like, I've been telling you, young one, this is a wonderful stone, but the dragon diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find the dragons anymore, much less how to get diamonds from them. All right, all right, so how much will it give us for it? Uh, for a diamond of this caliber, I'll give you 20k silver for it. And that is my one and only offer. Uh, it's your decision to Alex. What do we do? I think we can get more. That's a bad idea, isn't it? Is that right, young man? Well, you're welcome to look around. But you're not going to find a store that can offer half as much as me, and I'm the richest ruler in Moribia. Hi there. Be some patient with me. Okay, so yeah, that's the same line. Listen, I'm not denying it is a wonderful diamond, though it has an unusual smell. <laughs> How can you expect to believe that it's a dragon diamond, lad? Unless the dragon himself is willing to come here and pick up could be a sword, I can't pay what you're asking for. Please don't get upset. I know we can still do business. My offer is the same, young man. 20k for your silver diamond for your diamond. Alex, I think we should take his offer before he changes his mind. Uh I have a feeling it's a bad idea to say no, but I'm gonna say no. Is that right? Well, you walk a look around. 
Like, um, let me see before this gets too out of control. I just realized I've been using one save the entire time. Flightless bird, what is wrong with you? Something happens to your, uh, your recording. That's really bad to not have multiple saves. Okay, third time, let's see if the office, actually I'm gonna go four times. Although that seems like the same line of dialogue. So I think no matter what happens, we're gonna have to sell for 20K. Although we're getting ripped off because this is a genuine article and he is waking us. Haha, <laughs> excellent. I'll go into the back to get your money. Hand over the diamond so I can put it into my safe. Wait here, please. Gave the dragon diamond. See, if I wasn't doing a let's play of this, I'd probably look this up and see, is there anything else, you know, to, uh, to this, uh, like, side quest or main quest? But, you know, I'm not, so, I mean, I am doing a let's play, so I'm not looking it up because I don't want to be spoiled by anything. I, I didn't realize it took so long to count 20,000 silver, Alex. Maybe it's too heavy for him to carry that all you at once. Or he just ran off with our diamond and he totally stole it. I, I had to switch it to hope that maybe I got 20k, but something just told me there's no way they're gonna give me 20k. Alex, something's wrong. Draws, hello, where are you? Alex, Ramus, Dross is gone and so is the dragon diamond. We've been had. Yep. Please don't hurt me, I just start working here. I don't know anything, I don't know anymore. Uh, why don't you go talk to Master Mel? Maybe he could help you. That's all my fault, Alex. I, I should have known Dross was a con from the start. I got cocky because I was able to catch Brett. I'm so sorry. Well, at least we know where we're going. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, that shot right there with the, uh, the symbols on it. That is the... Um, the, uh, the, 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 the pawn shop. And Mel is right here. She's right next door. Not hard to get to. And Mel, I think, is over here. So then, what's on your mind? Ah, uh, we were trying to sell a diamond to a mini dross, but he stole it. And if I said it once, I said it a hundred times. Well, that dross is a crook, but it's your fault, too. Can't just hand over a valuable jewel like that. Since you're trying to become adventurous, I think I'll let you solve this on your own. Test your strength, but test your heart, lad. All you can truly rely on is yourself. Alex, said in one adventure, but here's one for you. Now you've asked me to bail you out already. What kind of adventures are you to be? All the dots. Okay, well let's go find Nash. Cause that's probably a good place to start, right? I wonder if he's in the sewers. Like you just know the sewers is a dungeon. Although it would be nice also to uh to meet Jessica. To get our uh fifth party member. That would be good, too. Alright, Nash. Let's see if you're gonna come with me or not. Or if you're gonna give me problems. Maybe the fortune teller will also tell me where to go. Because that would be helpful as well. Oh! Royce is no longer here. Nash is no longer here. Well, great! Where the heck do I go? Already seen all that. Wait, that looked new. Uh, the world is at peace. That was his incredible magic. Where is he? Are you last cat? Uh, done that already. The inform for the guild. So I wonder if we have to go there. Like, I can't see Nash anywhere. I mean, I would think that would be in that same spot. I could go in the pawn shop to see if there's a... If I can go in that back door. 
Hey, what's going on? The owner of the place uh, ran out into the back and never came back out. I definitely won't be able to buy anything until I figure out what the heck's going on. Oh, okay, we can't go this way. Cool. I've been scoping out John's store for weeks, coming up with the perfect plan to rob a blind. Then I stumbled upon the secret passage in the sewers. I decided today was the day to pull the job, so I hid here and waited. Then John starts past me, clutching the biggest diamond I've ever seen. I had his sewage worker alibi ready, but he was so happy with this giant jewel that he didn't even notice me. This day happened so weird that I just had to tell someone about it. Alex, this guy's a thief. Shouldn't we tell someone about him? Uh, we don't have time now. How long can we stay here? The bigger lead Joss gets with our diamond. What I can tell, Joss is a hideout bed. Or down below, I should say. But these two are infested with monsters. I never had the guts to try and find it. So we don't have equipment for our other guy. And we don't have Nash. A lot of sisters have reported strange noises covered with the sewers. So Master Mel sent me down here to investigate. But I'm afraid to go any deeper to the sewers alone. Whatever's down there might devour me! Oh, thanks. I'm me, I see. Okay, pressing that switch was a smart idea. It's got me on a bridge. That looks like an enemy. Those all look like enemies. And this right here is the weirdest little location ever. There's like nothing over here. Annoying sound. Grog snakes. These guys do not look friendly. That is for sure. No, I didn't mean. Oh, it doesn't matter if I do AI with that. Hopefully, attacks the one that. Yeah, that one. Good, good, good. We can take these guys out in two hits. That is excellent. Oh my god. That was devastating. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We may have to get some money just to go get Ramus some armor. Because that hit was absolutely devastating. We are getting 108 silver each. Alex with the level, two attack is nice. Agility, wisdom, not much else to know. Oh, Vigor. Uh, Ramus gained a level and he gained a whole one HP. Oh, we also gained range. Okay, he finally did something. Yep, he finally got something. It wasn't an attack, unfortunately. But hey, you know, something is something, right? Uh, heal on Ramus. And let's take a look at this new... Why is there a big giant space here? Increase attack power on own self. I assume that's what that means. But we also have Luna spell that could do that too. Ah, uh, there's a bunch of them. Good, she didn't knock him back. That's good. It's also good that Ramus, for some reason, is faster than these guys. I don't know why. I mean, he's usually very slow. Oh, they poison. That's annoying. Yeah, they're, they're just devastating, um, Ramus. He just, has, he just doesn't have that defense. And unfortunately, oh man, that sucks. We didn't finish the, um, that guy off. Okay, uh, I need you to run back, hit that one, you hit that one, you hit that one. Nice crit! Well, that really hurt. Hey, Luna with a level up, fantastic. Two agility, two wisdom, that was our good stats, and a range increase, as well as escape song. I assume escape song just lets you run away, which is not a bad thing, because running away in this game is very weird. Doesn't always work. Uh, send, no, it actually sends enemies away. Huh. So you can basically do that to uh, try to, if you're swarmed, get rid of some enemies. I'm not gonna heal everyone to max because I think that's a place of MP. I like how the ladder falls down. That's a cool little visual. Uh, let's, um, all right, we will, Right or left? I feel like left is the way I'm supposed to go. Aha! Got a starlight. That is an excellent find. That allows us to stay in a dungeon longer, especially if we can um, increase our heal amounts. I'll be with you in a second. And this looks suspicious. Um, no. 
I don't mean it was like a bravely default thing where there's a hidden wall. You know, Final Fantasy IV, things like that. Okay, now that Luna leveled up, her attack went up by one, so we should be able to two-shot these guys every time now. I know Ramus didn't get any stronger, and he is sucks so bad. Ramus is truly awful. And that's not because he's a bad character, it's just because he doesn't level at all. I mean, his attack is out less than Luna. Right now, he's just an extra person on the board, providing marginal damage. Marginal. Very marginal. But it's enough to get by. Although it would be really nice, as I said, if we had Nash with us. Got another Starlight. Fantastic. Now, as long as we keep getting four, I'm okay with that. It's when we get five that we really get dominated. Because it's just one too many for us to take out with our current strength. But when there's only four, you know, we get hit twice and that's okay. Poison sucks, but it's okay. And they're a pretty good source of experience as well, money. I mean, 20 experience, 100 silver is pretty dang good. What does it take to level anyway? I should have checked at the, um, in our last level. Uh, let's see. She needs 269, 251, 259. So it was basically what, like 340 or so? So it's gonna take what, uh, 14 fights? I'm not liking this giant fish here. Wow, look at these guys. These guys look vicious. You know what I could do is I could uh, use some magic here. Why am I only hitting one enemy? You would think that would hit a lot more than one enemy. If it's an EZ, which is an AOE, should hit like everything around it, right? Well, let's try it out to see what happens. This is where having Nash would have been really nice. Yeah, it only hit that one fish for some reason. Again, this is where having Nash would be awesome because Nash would have probably had a lightning spell that could hit all five of these enemies in one shot, and it just would have instantly won me a fight. Also, sadly, to note that these guys, um, so are they now in range? Wow, it's a really small range. Okay, now we know. Fortunately, that took a lot of my mana. And that mana could be really helpful if we have a boss up ahead. But still, you know, I, I need to know uh, what the uh, range was like. Forty experience was quite a lot. Two hundred silver. I'm assuming it's silver. It says S. It, it never really told me one way or another, but I'm assuming it's silver. Looks like I could avoid these guys. That's a lot of flying fish. And they're strong too. These are not weak enemies. It's kind of weird that they have feet. Yeah, 25 on a crit is. I mean, look at that movement range. Luna's all the way in the back and yet moved all the way over to her. And yet somehow it still hit her. Should be able to take care of the one on the right before it moves. And what jerks! It's a Fina effect. Yeah, it's a Fina effect. They're just zoning in on her for some strange reason. Right, 
and this should finish it off. And now the best character in the game is gonna revive her so she can get her EXP. That hurt. That was a really, I mean, like I said, without Nash, this is very difficult. Why don't we have Nash? I get the feeling we're supposed to have Nash, but he's in a spot that I haven't checked. So because of that, um, we're fighting without him just because I didn't get him. There's a button over there I had to press. I don't want to fight every single one of these. Because these guys hurt. Like, a lot. It's like ridiculous how fast these fish are. And because there's five of them, it's very difficult to fight them. Great. Come on, oh, that was nice. That basically gives me a free hit. Because, um... Well, the thing is, if it attacks Ramus, it gives me a free hit. If it attacks Luna, then, you know, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because I didn't need Ramus to hit him, because Alex can kill him. need to fight this fight I did not need to fight this fight I really wish you could do something I could have been with him and just absorb a hit or two although I know they're gonna go out to Luna Like I said, just absorb a hit or two. Um, thing is, we're all gonna probably gang up on Luna now. Jeez. Even with him blocking, uh, they are just ripping right through him. Look at that. Come on, get back on your feet. I hope that one attacks Ramus again. Sweet. Yeah, that's fine. Because I would need to heal him anyway. So I only need to heal one person at the end of that. And I got an herb, so why don't I just go ahead and use that? I mean, if they're gonna give me an item to heal, why not, why not use it after you get it? I'll use two. And then we will... I almost used that, which would've made me very sad. At me, did you see that? It was about to jump in the water. It was about to jump in the water and it said nope. 
You're still in defense animation. Why are you still in defense animation? Why is he still in defense animation? I wonder if he's actually defending. Well, it's hard to tell because no one attacked him. That was weird. One heal will probably take her up anyway. I did get another herb, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I could use it. I could use it. I'm trying to get through this dungeon without having to leave. Because if I have to leave, then I have to restart everything all over again. I could heal Alex, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, I know. Famous last words. Okay, these guys are a lot easier to fight. They don't give as much experience, but they're a lot easier to fight. Especially if there's only four. So I will gladly take these guys. I'll gladly take two sets of these guys over one set of fish. Because the fish, again, the, 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 the fact that there's five of them, it, it's, it's just... It's just really hard to manage. So apparently, uh, no prize, um, just common it and said in the Sega CD version, Luna does not come with you when you go to Moravia. I'm sorry, but wait, what? Why doesn't she come with us? That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, that's a cool, cool trick game. I, I mean, I would never want to, oh my God, what is that? I would never want to play the Sega CD version. That's what I'm getting myself into. These guys look scary. I don't know how powerful they are either. Okay. We can, uh, we can one turn them with Alex. That's good. Taking a bite out of Alex. Nice crit. That was good time. I will kill that. Didn't kill that one. What? Shocked by that. I didn't heal Ramus for some reason. Oh, Alex still hanging on with 2 HP. 30 XP? Not bad. Ramus gained a level, he learned absolutely nothing. Abs not not just nothing as in only HP. He learned absolutely nothing as in he didn't even get one HP. So his level basically is completely meaningless and pointless, and there's no rhyme or reason for him to get a level ever again is what the game is telling me well thanks appreciate that okay i just opened a bridge for that way so i think that's the far right one perhaps It saw me at the last second. Did you see that? It was like, nope. Gonna go fight Flightless Bird. I know Flightless Bird loves fishies, so he's gonna go after those fishies. I'm, I was thinking, no, that's quite fine. I don't want to go after those fishies, but nope. Um, it, 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 it's a thing that happened. How did fish move that fast, by the way? That's completely unfair. Fish should not be able to move that fast. Okay, 
that, that's fine. Hold attack, Alex. Take him out! Take him out! Ah, I did take him out. I'm really getting low on MP. Level up! Excellent. Three, two, one attack. Two agility, two wisdom. Any new abilities? Nope. Luna gained a level. Five, five, two, which is nice. One agility, two wisdom. I wonder if I'm honestly making this game harder, not having Nash with me. Like, I don't even know if I want to know if this is a thing or not. Because if someone tells me, yeah, you could have had Nash if you just would have gone here, I would be... I'd be like, well, thanks. <laughs> that doesn't really help me now, does it? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I, I'd be a little bit salty, I think. But I, I honestly don't know if I want to know if he could have joined me or not. Sweet. Good movement there. We bought almost every fish except two. <laughs> yeah, those, those fish just... They're, 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 they're relentless. Wow, that has a lot of enemies. Um, can you hit them all with your attack? No, but you can hit four. You know what? I'll take that. Yeah! Oh, barely hit that guy. Well, I got rid of three at least. That anemone. Oh, it attacks twice. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're in the stage of the game where enemies are getting additional attacks now. It's kind of scary. A lot of EXP and a healing nut, which is the uh, super healing herb. Uh, let us... Yeah, let's use healing herbs here. No, I haven't saved in a while. Maybe I should save as well. I mean, if you can save anywhere, then why the heck not, is what I say. I hate it when I press circle to cancel and I put too many times if we save command again. <laughs> uh, let's examine the right side here first. Ah, say left is always right, my friends. Should have, should have listened to myself. Oh, this isn't more left. It's more like up, but still. Got some more money, which is always good because this game is a game that actually uses money um in a good way. You always feel like you need more of it. There's a lot of anemones here. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh, gee, oh, my God. I think it's scary. Okay, um, uh, that's not good because I am running out of everything. Yeah. I may actually have to leave and regroup. I don't want to, but if I don't, I'm going to have to use those very, 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 very expensive... Uh, MP items. Because there's no way I can fight a fight like that. I really need Nash. I'm telling you, I'm I'm missing out on his AoEs. Because his AoEs would... Shoot. I don't have enough to do that move anymore, too. Oh, God. I am screwed. There's two of these things. And it looks like this one's doing a special attack. Ah, uh, this could go badly. This could go badly. Ow! Stupid Emma Mimini's. Yeah, I never can know how to say that name. I, I, 
Oh, it's just ammonias. I thought they were anemones or an anemones, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, they actually gave them an easier to pronounce name. They're just ammonias. Uh, Ramus is down and you're poisoned. Wonderful. Now, let's take out the ghost first. Whatever you want to call that thing. Now watch, Nash is going to come back and he's going to be severely underleveled. That hurt. Now, I did get some healing nuts, so maybe I could substitute some healing uh, magic for healing nuts. Healing nut you. Healing nut you. And then Luna should be okay at 53. Uh, is there something there on the bottom right? I don't think there is, but I should check. Now these guys aren't so bad. The three ghosts by themselves is a... Uh, it's a very... Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, except when they crit, it's a very decent fight. When they crit, it's not a decent fight. <laughs> For obvious reasons. But I did get another healing nut. And again, trying to avoid using those MP recoveries because healing nuts are much cheaper than... Oh, let's just use an herb. Yeah, using an herb is good there. Any secret over here? No. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to fight both these guys. But like I said, fighting these guys is not bad as long as they don't crit. It's when they crit that things go bad. <laughs> I mean, it seems a like that, isn't it? You know, everything's going fine and dandy, and then the enemy crits. You're just like, like, ow! Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. I'm trying to hang on to this 32 MP uh, as long as I can. 32 MP is what? Uh, eight heals? Yeah, it's about eight heals. Or seven heals? Uh. Do the math, players, bird. Uh, four divided by 32. Four divided by 32 is... Why is my brain so not working at the moment? Got an antidote, it's um seven. No, it's eight. Because 32 and 36, 36 would be nine. 40 would be 10, yeah, it's eight. So I got eight heals left. There you are, thief. Now give us back our diamond now. I don't know how you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. Because it won't be around long enough to find your way back out. Yeah, boy, that's it. Over here. Oh, shoot. I'm not ready for this. Alex, what is it? Surprise, kids. I'm pretty amazed myself. I never knew my little pet would go so quickly down here. But they come in handy for getting rid of annoyances like you. I am not ready for this. Get ready, Alex. This pet looks like he's hungry. Oh, look at it. Look at it. No. I'm not ready for this. I don't even think I'm healed. I'm not healed. I have no mana. I'm gonna have to use my first turn just getting myself back on my feet. This is not good. And you don't have any healing, uh, any magic items to throw. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Like, there's bad, and then there's what that is. Um, that's bad. I don't know if you just heard that, but that was a loud thing of thunder going off to the distance. Ramus can't hit this guy. 
I am so screwed if this is true. I'm gonna have you defend. So that way you can put up, um, fortify friend. And then why don't you go ahead and use your last herb on yourself. Trying to conserve my magic here. Poison. Like I said, I wasn't ready for this fight. And you're completely useless because you can't even hit the guy. You don't have any items on you to use as a like a heal bot. And 37 mana was not enough. Oh come on! Exactly 54! Exactly 54 game! I I'm screwed. I don't have any way of basically winning this fight. Yeah, I don't, I mean, unless Null picks him up. I can't seem to attack him at all with Ramus. And he's hitting so dang hard. Come on, get back on your feet. Okay, so I have a chance now. fight is so unfair because I don't have reach and the amount of damage it does is yeah, this fight's just incredibly unfair because one of my characters can't even hit and the others do so little damage it's 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 not good. That's all I have to say. Also, that big bang of thunder I heard is not good. I posted on my uh, YouTube uh, channel yesterday saying that there's really bad weather in the area today. So I think, despite this being um, a shorter video, I may have to stop here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to just leave and come back. I'm also going to see if I can find Nash. So off camera, I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna try to find Nash and then we'll come back here and hopefully I'll have Nash with me because if I don't have Nash, this fight is, it's brutal. Maybe also buy some better gear for Ramus so he can survive a hit. But again, um, maybe buy him a bow and arrow so he can at least attack the dragon. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. But either way, my friends, I love you all so very much. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.